Okay, hello guys, my name is Raul and today we're going to be doing a C++ tutorial. I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials. This is the first one. First of all, you will need a C++ compiler. Over here I have installed Xcode. But I'm going to write a list of compilers that will also work for any kind of OS that you're using doesn't matter if it's Linux, Mac, or Windows, you can program in C++. Um, here's a very popular compiler which is free. It's called Dev C++. You can use that one. You can use, uh, if you have um, Linux or Mac or PC, this one is compatible too, which is called Code Blocks. that one is also free if you have a Mac <coughs> there's also a free compiler called uh, Xcode that's the one that I'm using over here this is Xcode and of course um, if you have enough money you can buy or download Visual Studio Visual Studio any version will do or you can, or if there's also a free version called Visual C++ Express Edition. You can download that one also. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Xcode, but any of these other compilers will do about the same. Okay, let's start our first tutorial. Let's open Xcode. Let's first create a new document. We, come, we press the command line tool. Then we go to here, select C++. Choose. We're going to name this tutorial Tutorial 1. Okay, this over here, this is where you're gonna edit the code, this is where you're gonna run it. Okay. Okay, our first tutorial is gonna be about, uh, it's gonna be a program that's gonna display a message. It's a very simple program, it's probably the simplest program I've ever done. But of course, this is our first tutorial, we shouldn't go too hard on it. We write... Number include... iostream Then we write using namespace dot dot std int name okay we're gonna write c out uh. hello let me erase that Hello, people. How are you doing? Um, this part of the code and L is to end the line. Um, I always use it just in case I write another message. It doesn't appear at the right side. It appears it appears um, below. For example, if I write another message over here if I write another message and then after I press build and run the both messages will appear um, one below the other I'm gonna show you right here very quickly. Alright, it succeeded, means it's well written. We're gonna run the program, dual clicking 
over here. As you can see, um, the message over here, well, it appeared this one on top and this one below. If we take out this part of the program, right? We press speed and run, we save. If we take it out, see it appears beside. That's why it's very important. Another tool that you can use if you don't if you don't want to write endl after each each time you write a line, you can always write a slash back a slash n and it will do about the same. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna save. Okay. See, it just did the same. Hello, people. How are you doing? What is your name? That was our first tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do the next tutorial.